That's our offer. What do you say? He says, yes, of course. I mean, you won't see a deal again like that in a million years. <laughs> that, I believe. Well, you don't think we're trying to pull something on you? Oh, not at all, Mr. Quarterman. I know you would never do anything like that. Now, please, call me, Edward. Then you accept? You're a smart businesswoman, Miss Cummings. Call me Felicia, please. <laughs> You'd like us to put our money where our mouths are, right? Oh, yeah, that might be nice. Well, that's fair enough. <clears throat> Have you uh, got a pen? Uh, well, what exactly do you intend to do? I'm going to give you a down payment right now. Say, uh, 20%. Uh, you're going to have to do that. Make it 30 What? <laughs> well, you drive a hard bargain, Felicia. All right, 50% now, payable immediately. You just say the word. Well, it's very impressive offer. Impressive? It's outrageous. That's ten times the value of your stock. Twelve. Oh, boy. <laughs> you sure is a head for <laughs> figures. Maybe you'd like to go to work for us, huh? <laughs> well, I think that I would much rather work with you in business instead of for you. Then do we have a deal? Yeah, maybe. What's that supposed to mean? Yes or no? Well, I need some time to think about it first. Well, how much time? I don't know. I've never entered this kind of transaction before. It might take a while for me to make up my mind. You have until this evening. I'll be at the spa. I'll wait for your answer then. That's not very much time, Alan. You take it or leave it. If you don't show up, I'll assume you're not interested. Let's go, Father. <laughs> Sean, <laughs> Hello. Sean, this is Felisa. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Oh, it, it'll keep. <clears throat> Tell me what happened. Edward and Alan fell all over themselves trying to buy the shares that they think I own in your company. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. You wouldn't believe how much they offer. Oh, yes, I can. What'd you say? I told them that I had to think about it. Have you? What do you mean? I mean, it isn't up to me, is it? You trust your instinct. Oh, well, I don't. I mean, not about business, anyway. Oh, Felicia, you know, business is just like life, only a little more intense. You want to learn the uh, corporate gamemanship, don't you? You're a gambler. Well, yes, if that's what it takes. It's a big part of it. Well, okay, deal me in. I want to learn as much about the business as I can. <sighs> Good, because once I get finished with you, Princess, you're going to be able to teach this course. Okay, what do I do now? I just play it by ear. Like the song says, you have to know when to hold, fold, and lay it all on the line. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that kind of decision. <laughs> Come on, Felicia, just relax. It's like play money. We're not talking about a life and death situation. Yes, but don't you realize that we may have another murder on our hands? I mean, there's no question. But Jennifer's disappearance is a direct link to those other two killings. As a law enforcement officer myself, I'd definitely investigate this connection. Then why don't you? And leave our police chief out of it. That case has every bit as much to do with poor Charles as Littleton. She's right. Jennifer disappeared here, not in South Carolina. People her age disappear all the time. It's a common outgrowth of senility. And it certainly doesn't mean she's been murdered. But uh, we'll just have to discuss this later. We don't have that much time. Well, I'll get back to you before the end of the day. Let's go. Big city politics. Lady, I wouldn't have your job for all the money in the world. Oh, the job is fine. The problem is all the interference that stops me from doing it. Solving the crimes is enough of a problem. I'm a juggling politicians on top of it. That's, that's just uh, madness. I never realized what you had to put up with. My hat's off to you, Chief. If I was in your place, I'd uh, be tempted to go fishing and stay there. <laughs> I think I haven't considered it. Well, what do you think? Are those big hot shows uh, going to give you the green light? I don't know. I don't think there's much chance. Now, I mean, those two could care less about this case. Yeah. They're motivated by politics, not by justice. All they want is whatever is most expedient, and I'm afraid that's not reopening this investigation. Yeah. Well, maybe Ginny Blake's show will, will make a difference. Yes, how? 
See, if the public start to question the case, that might become politically embarrassing to Morgan. Might force him to reopen the case. Want to go out and, um, lobby people in the streets? No, I'm more interested in trying to find a murderer, and I know exactly where to start. Um, I'm going over to the Brownstone. If Mayor Morgan calls, will you give him uh, Bobby Brock's number? You have that? Yeah, thank you. I'm going to go and have a heart-to-heart -heart with Terry. Well, we'll go with you. Well, maybe she can give us some clue as to what happened to her grandma. Uh, uh, no, I'd rather do this solo. You know, Terry's rather... She's rather fragile at the moment, and I think the three of us bombarding her with questions, she wouldn't really be able to handle it. Well, whatever you think. Well, good luck with Terry and Morgan. You got guts, Chief. I got to hand it to you. You know, taking on City Hall like that, I don't know if I could do it. It might sound kind of strange coming from me, but I admire you for it. Oh, um, well, you know, Morgan's just half the battle, really. Once I've got this case reopened, if I do, then I've got to find the killer. So I'd, I'd save your admiration until the murder is behind bars. said beauty and stupidity go hand in hand. I'm sure I don't know. Well, it certainly isn't true in your case. Well, is this your way of reopening up the negotiations? Well, you did that just by showing up. No, I'm here to work out. And close the deal, I assume. No, not quite. Why not? Because I have to discuss it with Frisco first. What does he have to do with it? Oh, he has a lot to do with me. All right. Then discuss it with him. Well, I can't. Why not? Because he's not around. Where is he? Oh, he's not doing police business. He's on some overnight thing, and I don't even know where he is. Well, it's a hell of a time for him to disappear. Well, then you can understand why I can't tell you right now, because I have to discuss it with him. Now, you can understand that. Now, look, I know that you wouldn't do anything like that unless you discussed it with Monica first, right? Okay, how much time do you need? I thought that you would see it my way. I'll give you till tomorrow morning. Mm. Two days. Two days? I can't wait that long. Well, then I don't know if we can do business. This is my last offer. I'm going to give you 20 times the market value of your stock. Father, forgive me. 20 times? Don't make me repeat it. I may change my mind. I'm not telling Alan. Why not? Well, obviously, this stock is very valuable. You overplayed your hand. Women. Patrick, I am not going to the hospital without you. <laughs> well, I'm not due for an hour. Well, then you can grab something to eat at the cafeteria and wait. I'm not hungry. Well, then sit and stare at the walls. I don't care what you do, you're not staying at the house. Come on, guys, knock it off. No, 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 go ahead. Let them speak his mind. I don't quite get your meaning here, Kevin. What are you implying? I'm not implying anything. Well, good, it doesn't seem to be a problem there, is there? You're due at the hospital. I think you better hit the road. Look, I am not going to the hospital without you. Yeah? What are you afraid of? What are you afraid is going to happen if you're gone? Nothing. Nothing at all. I just feel that under the circumstances, Terry would rest far more comfortably oh, if you weren't here. like hell. Look, why don't you guys just hold me to gunpoint, huh? Or even better yet, call out of the vein. Have her arrest me. I mean, there's no th need for a trial. You already got me convicted. Stop it! Just stop it! You two, please stop fighting. I hate to see hurting each other like this. Aren't things bad enough? Sorry. I wasn't thinking. Neither was I. I didn't mean to upset you, Terry. Just a little on edge, you know. I'm just really worried about Terry and Jennifer. And I didn't mean to imply that you're a murderer. You know that I don't believe that. Yeah, forget it. I, uh, I shouldn't have blown off like that. I guess I'm just tired about being accused for everything. Where am I going to go where I can get the benefit of the doubt? Huh? I think I'm going to get some fresh air. Excuse me. Kevin. 
You want to go to the hospital? I'll stay here with Terry. Yeah. Listen, I'll be back as soon as I can, all right? Yeah. I gotta grab my coat. I had a funny feeling of something bad's happened to grandmother. Are you two uh, keeping anything from me? Honey, no. no, of course not. We're waiting for news just like you were. Look, why don't you get some rest, okay? Why don't you go in your old bedroom? <sighs> yeah, um, I'm exhausted. A little bit of rest will do you good, okay? Go in there and we'll wake you up as soon as we hear anything about your grandmother. She moved back into that bedroom alone. Try telling her that. She's living in the attic with a possible murderer. Yeah, well, I'm sure that's never even crossed her mind. We could force her to move back in down here. Oh, if only we could. No, it's not practical. Kevin's her husband. We have no legal right to it. Oh, you're a possible killer. What? What are you talking about? What is this about a killer? We're talking about protecting someone that we love very much. From me? From anybody and everybody who tries to hurt her. Who the hell do you think you are? Now, Terry is my wife, okay? I decide who and what to protect her from. And if you're so concerned about her, what was that TV appearance, huh? Is that your idea of keeping my wife calmed down by broadcasting to the whole city that her grandmother may have been murdered? Mine, Jennifer, what could be better for Terry? You tell me that. Listen, if you're here to bother my wife, don't. She needs rest, not more your damn questions. Anna? This is a bad time, huh? Has there been anything else around here these days? Yeah. Jake, you did a very good job on Dennis show. I saw it. Thank you. And uh, actually, the district attorney and the mayor were watching it with me, perhaps. Persuade them to reopen this case. Is that why you're here? I do actually want to speak to Terry, if I may. You might as well. You've got to find out sooner or later. Dear God, how much longer is it going to go?